Hey guys, Ryan at Guadagni Performance Innovation. Wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about uh, head gasket selection, uh, some of the more obvious points, and then one of the uh, points that that may be overlooked by some. Uh, figure I'll go over this, and it, it, it's a situation we see more often than not with uh, ported cylinder heads and aftermarket head castings. Uh, different uh, various builds offer different uh, areas of concern. So uh, we see sometimes, you know, builds come through the shop, uh, whether we're freshening up or whether it's a fresh build uh, with some of our head castings. Head gasket selection is something you really have to be careful with, uh, especially on power adder application. You know, not only are we looking at um, that deck height to see if, if the piston's out of the hole, in the hole, um, that helps us determine what gasket thickness we need to run. But you also need to look um, and consider gasket bore. Okay, so so we know a, an LS3 or a Gen 5 LT1 engine are 4065 bore on the cylinder. Okay, so you think, okay, a 4065 gasket would be fine. Well, a, a factory LS3 head chamber is 4072 or so a little over 400 uh, 4070 so you know you have to be careful that your gasket doesn't hang off into the chamber and i'll show you a little bit what i'm talking about here so here's a 821 casting and uh just for example this is a i grabbed a gasket that uh for a build we've got going on in the shop which is an alcohol turbo build um this is a copper gasket because it's it's going on, like I said, a double O-ring uh, alcohol turbo setup. But, um, you know, just laying this gasket up here, it looks pretty close, and it is. This copper gasket's a 4060 bore, but it does hang over uh, just a little bit on the sides here. You got to be careful with that because we've seen cars come in here in the past. Uh, I'll give you an example. I had an LS7 that came in here a couple years ago. This had detonation like crazy on a naturally aspirated setup. And uh, we finally figured out the head gasket that was used was too small for the head chamber uh, and actually the bore in that situation. So you had head gasket hanging over um, inside there and it just created a hot spot that uh, created numerous tuning issues. You couldn't take enough timing away from this thing to keep it from detonating. So uh, that's, that's one that uh, really sticks out. Uh, you know, goes along with exactly what I'm talking about. So you really need to consider this chamber width and not only just your engine uh, bore because different heads are going to have different chambers. You, you widen this up, you unshroud these valves, and, you know, yeah, that helps flow, but you need to make sure your head gasket is not hanging over past this chamber diameter. And uh, same thing, uh, that was a 821 head. Here's a CID LS7 head we have. This is for a power adder application. Uh, same type of thing. In a lot of situations, if we're not running a copper gasket uh, or multi-layer gasket, we'll run like this Athena head gasket. Uh, it has the Vulcan rings. They work good on the power adder stuff, especially in our opinion with the iron block stuff. Uh, but in this example, this CID uh, head chamber that we did a combustion chamber we did and developed for this one uh has a little small soft chamber but the the max width of this chamber is only 4127 so you know obviously we designed this around a 4 427 engine setup or 4125 bore setup uh but this head gasket is 4174 uh, as far as the, the diameter of the ring and uh to give you another example our uh, Brodick's head, the chamber is a little bit larger uh, than what our CID is on diameter and we we need to run this 4174 because the 4155 the ring can overlap and hang in the cylinder and you don't get maximum sealing especially with these Vulcan gaskets the, uh, the ring gaskets you really need to make sure uh, that you have your your diameter correct on that as well and uh, last example would be our, uh, our CID LT head. Uh, 
this is one of two chambers we offer. Uh, this is our LT4 style uh, chamber, the, the larger chamber volume. It's about 63 cc's. Uh, this chamber is only uh, 4060, 4062 uh, diameter. So you don't really have anything to worry about with this head uh, as far as you know gasket diameter because most of your LT gaskets are going to uh, be 4100, 4099, 4100 bore gaskets. But uh, just want to take a couple minutes, go over that. That's something uh, you guys certainly need to consider when you're putting your, your uh, combination together. Not only to consider your bore uh, on your engine, but look at your chamber diameter and make sure your gasket isn't too small for your chamber. Thanks.